वेलकम टू माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश धोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू स्कैटरिंग पैरामीटर इन दिस वीडियो एंड दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन स्कैटरिंग पैरामीटर सो हियर आई विल डिस्कस सम बेसिक्स ऑफ स्कैटरिंग पैरामीटर फर्स्ट आफ्टर दैट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू वाई डू वी हैव मेजरमेंट ऑफ स्कैटरिंग पैरामीटर फॉर एनालिसिस ऑफ माइक्रोवेव सर्किट्स एंड एट लास्ट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू how do we measure scattering parameter so let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of scattering parameter now see as i have said when we do analysis of microwave components when we do analysis of rf circuits when we do analysis of antennas so at that time we do that analysis by using scattering parameter so there must be question with electronics engineer that why do we need to have scattering parameter for microwave components for antennas or for rf circuits right in electronics you must have studied y parameter z parameter abcd parameter or h parameter right then why don't we apply those parameters here for analysis of microwave components so there are some reasons so let us discuss those reasons if you observe analysis of y parameter z parameter abcd parameter right then you would have observed that in circuits we were been providing open circuits and short circuits but when we talk about microwave frequencies so at that time it is next to impossible to have open circuits and short circuits if you have seen measurement of y parameter z parameter abcd parameter or h parameter in that case you would have observed that you have been measuring exact value of voltage and current but when we talk about microwave frequencies so at that time equipments are not available which measures instantaneous voltage and current in microwave circuits you will be observing there are some active devices right like tunnel diode impact diode trap diode microwave transistors so those active devices are having issues of stability at microwave frequencies so because of stability issues one cannot have measurement by using y z h or abcd parameter so at microwave frequencies it is not possible to have open circuit and short circuit at microwave frequencies equipments are not available which measures exact value of voltage and current and at microwave frequencies you will be observing in microwave circuits active devices are having issues of stability right so because of all these reasons we don't do analysis of microwave components using y parameter z parameter abcd parameter or h parameter here we do analysis by using scattering parameter now there must be question like how do we do measurement of scattering parameter now see what we do in scattering parameter measurement see if you have two port network like here we have one port and here we have second port so what we do is we insert signal from the one port and here we observe that how much signal that we incident inside and how much signal is getting reflected back after that what we do is here we insert signal at port 2 and again we analyze how much signal that is getting incident inside and how much signal that is getting reflected back right and based on this we derive scattering parameter so those things that we will see it with respect to different devices in future here there are few essential notations that that one must note down so that you can understand what is the meaning of those terms right so if i say s i j then it is very essential to understand that this first i 
that explains numerator part and that gives you idea about normalized reflected wave at ith port and this second part j that explains you normalized incident wave at jth port now as if you want to identify this then here one must know that reflected wave that is denoted by b and this incident wave that is denoted by a here reflected wave at ith port is there so bi that i need to write and here incident wave at jth port is there so i need to write aj and see this bi that is normalized reflected wave right and this aj that is normalized incident wave so this is normalized value so how to measure that exactly so for that if i say i want to measure bj then here all we do is we measure reflected voltage at jth port divided by square root of characteristic impedance of jth port here see bi is there so what i'll be doing is i will be writing bi here so here there will be reflected voltage at ith port and divided by square root of characteristic impedance of ith port right so i need to write ith port here right so square divided by square root of z0i that i need to do and as if you want to measure normalized value aj then that is incident voltage at jth port divided by square root of characteristic impedance at jth port so that is how we can have a measurement of exact value of bi and aj right so this is how we measure scattering parameter so here there are few basics that one must know regarding scattering parameter that microwave antennas and rf circuits that is been analyzed by using scattering parameter as we cannot have analysis of those components by using y z a b c d or h parameter and when we do measurement of scattering parameter at that time this essential notations that one should have like s i j is ref normalized reflected wave at ith port divided by normalized incident wave at jth port right where this normalized value that we do it by dividing square root of characteristic impedance at that particular port and in next few videos i'll explain you some components even so this will gives you proper resolution regarding how one can have understanding of scattering parameter i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video